Hey guys, so we are back in the basement today and we are going to be changing this into this. So let's get into it and I'll show you guys how it goes. I'm going to remove the bumper first. Um, I haven't removed it yet, so here goes. I'm not gonna show you how to remove a bumper. There are a few videos of that. Just know I am going to be removing it and then I'll show you what I do to the rest of it. Okay guys, so what I have here is I have a winch plate that goes into the Rubicon bumper of the Jeep Wrangler JLs and I took the metal brace that is inside the plastic bumper and I cut it into basically three pieces but the middle piece was redundant so that was thrown away. I also have a fair lead mount that will go onto my winch plate to hold my fair lead um, on the winch in the bumper. So yeah, I'll take a closer picture of how I cut these. You do not need the lip on where the bolt goes through into the plastic, but I thought that would be a nice little extra piece of strengthening that does go on there. Um, so here we go. I did previously realize that my winch is a little bit off center um, and now I can actually see how badly off center it is um, on the normal just on the plate I didn't see it as much but this is a rough mock-up of what the winch plate and the braces look like these braces are from the old brace plate they will still bolt onto the chassis in the same way they previously did with the added winch plate on the back of it. Now there's also an extra bolt hole that will be bolting our normal brace plates onto the plastic bumper for extra rigidity. And I will also be adding some more screws through these base plates into the plastic bumper just to make sure that they are keeping the plastic bumper a bit stiffer. I have masked off the top of the plastic bumper. I just need to figure out how much I'm going to cut out of it and then need to start cutting so that my winch can go onto the plate and go onto the bumper. Now, the normally the brace plate bolts onto these two little brass bolts. One of those bolts are going to be removed and obviously there's no plate in the middle. That's where my winch fair lead is gonna go and that's where a piece of the winch plate because it comes out a little bit forward here, that pushes into the front of the bumper. Um, these actually slip onto the winch plate. Those four holes in the winch plate brackets are the four holes that line up here with your recovery hooks. Now I need to gut quite a bit of plastic out of this to make it fit. Um, but we're gonna go and see how it goes um, and I'll show you guys when I'm done cutting again okay so here it is here is the final cut bumper the hole on the top of the bumper is basically a custom ish fit to my winch if you have a different winch layout than mine it will look a little bit different I have the hole in the front for the fair lead. Uh, I still need to make a, a plan with that. And then if I turn this over, everything has been gutted out, like everything. Well, this middle part, technically you can leave these two uh, bolts in on your side mounts, on the side mounts, I only kept one of them you can technically no you need to cut or you you can only use one of them if you really want to use them and then at the bottom there i had that whole strip cut out a little bit wider because of the winch plate and that is it uh, on this side i had it cut once again custom cut to my winch and i left a few of these little holes so that I can try and use the guard that goes behind the bumper again. 
So let's put it on or let's put it together. So as you can see, I painted my toe hooks red. I'm going to put them on the plastic and then try and get them into this whole setup over here. Hopefully it doesn't get messed up. Let's see how it goes. So here is a mock-up. Well, it's kind of bolted in and the supervisor sitting there. But this is pretty much what it's going to look like on the Jeep. So I put everything thing together. Uh, that thing is damn heavy. Those wheels go like, yeah. Um, and I'm going to be putting it on the Jeep now. I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, just a quick time lapse of that. And then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. <laughs> Now, 
We need to put the splash guards behind the fog lights back first, and then we'll consider putting that. Okay guys, so here is my plastic bumper converted into a winch bumper. I um, think it looks pretty good. Uh, the cuts from the top came out really, really nice. It just needs to be washed. But that looks really, really good. And let me just show you at the back here what I meant with... I cut those plastics smaller just so that they have a bit of a splash guard from the water that's coming off of the wheels. Awesome. And that is it guys, that is how I made my uh, plastic factory sport, sport S bumper. Sport or Sport S, both are plastic. That is how I made my plastic bumper into a winch bumper. Um, I bought that Rubicon winch plate, a fairly mount, and I used my winch, obviously. Depending on the size of your winch, you will have to make a few adaptations, but this is how I did. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, leave a like. Um, if you saw me doing something wrong, <laughs> post it in the comments if you have some. Uh, if you liked it, or you want to tell me good job, please leave a comment down below and subscribe for more videos on Poseidon that um, is coming soon. Cheers! And what is a bull by the off-roading noob without a little bit of 3D printed goodness? Just to hold the number plate in place. 
down so that I can access my winch. <laughs> what do you guys think of that part?